Designers surround themselves with visual material in the conceptual phase of design for reference or for inspiration. Currently designers use computers uh, to make these collages but they require the eye-hand coordination and they have a relatively small screen compared to the cupboard you had. This is why we developed the cabinet at the ID Studio Lab. It allows for collecting visual material on a large surface using your arms reach and spatial organization. The cabinet allows for simple uh, image manipulation such as rotation and enlargement and piles. You can organize these images by making them into one pile and navigating through them. All of this relies on your spatial memory which most designers are very good at. If I want to add something to the collection I can take an image that I've taken from a magazine and put it on the cabinet. If I now press the blue button a picture is being taken. In exactly the same spot as where the original is you can now find a digital shadow of it. Even the pen has been recorded. We can make a selection using the pen and this image is added to the collection. There's no name giving. The only thing you have to do as a designer is to give it a place using that spatial memory. So you take the image, you put it inside a stack and you give it a location where you think it is most fit. When the cabinet is not being actively used by the designer uh, it shows random images coming from the designer's collection. These images can be used for their own inspiration when they're looking or it can be that a colleague walks by and sees these images and starts talking about them. The other important aspect of using a projection coming from above is that it allows you to see light as material that you can work with as a designer, that you can explore. If you want to know what a texture like this does on a model that you've made, you can easily put it under and see how it works. The other thing that you can do with material light is take a picture like this for example and then put a real piece of paper on top of it and use a simple pen to draw over the shape that you find interesting. And if you don't like it you can take another one and start drawing again. Finally one last thing that you can do with material light is take a fun little gadget like this one and write something on it like magic and then if you use it take a picture well this may look like simple useless fun but as Arthur C. Clarke has been quoted as saying any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Thank you.